What's up YouTube? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going over three ways to boost your deadlift 25 pounds in one month. Um, these are some of my favorite uh, variations of deadlifts, deadlift accessories that I find personally the most helpful to building an overall deadlift and it's how I got my deadlift to 500 at just 165 pounds. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. Let's get right into the footage. All right, getting right into this. The first exercise I found most effective in building my deadlift was the pause deadlift. So you'll see here, explosive off the ground, but pausing right below the knee and then exploding all the way up. This is great for your spinal erectors, your back. If you're someone who loses tightness in your back, if your back rounds in the movement like mine does a lot of the time, this is a great way to fix that and help build overall strength back there. So you're not gonna lose as many lifts kind of bending over or losing that, that core tightness, that back tightness. Now these are tough and they're also going to build strength. If you see here, I'm doing a double overhand, holding onto it like that, gripping it, it's going to help you when you go for those bigger lifts. And this exercise is tough, so use a weight that's not quite the weight you would use if you're doing normal uh, deadlift work. Exercise number two, very similar, we're working on the posterior chain here, is going to be hyperextension deadlift pulls, or hyperextension pulls. And all we're doing here, limited range of motion, keeping your legs straight, and we're pulling through our hamstrings, our glutes, and our spinal erectors. Again, working on the back, the posterior chain. That's the most important part in a deadlift. If you want to have a good deadlift, you have to be strong back there. You can't just drive through the legs the entire way and expect it to work. The deadlift is about your hips and your shoulders raising at the same rate, and that's all dictated by how strong your posterior chain is. So this exercise here is great for that. As an accessory movement, I do a 5x5. Five um, using a weight that I can control pretty easily. As you can see here, I'm doing more speed work, holding it at the top. I'm not struggling through this. this your back's kind of compromised in this position, so this should just be form work. You shouldn't be killing yourself here. Next, now you might think this is a little, little unorthodox. Why am I doing squats when I'm trying to build up my deadlift? That's exactly the point. Your legs are your base in a squat. You have to have a strong back, but if your legs are weak, if you can't pop out of the hole in a squat, if you can't drive through the roof, you're not going to be able to drive a deadlift off the floor. A deadlift is not strictly a pull. It's not strictly a push. It's a little bit of everything. There's a lot that goes on in the deadlift. And if you don't build up all facets of your legs and your back, you're not going to be able to use the full potential your body has for that exercise. So as you can see here, I start off with 125 on each side. And each consecutive set, I add a 25 to each side working up somewhere to around 250. Now, if you guys are stronger than me, obviously you can do a lot more than this. If you're not, you can even do this with 10s and work your way up to like 185 by putting up to like seven tens on the other side. This allows you to get a lot, of a lot of volume work in for your legs. And it's gonna build not only strength, as you can see here in these heavier ones, but as we strip set it, especially on this last one, endurance. And endurance is key. You gotta be able to grind out those max pulls. You know, if your legs can only be explosive, well then you're not gonna get very far because a big deadlift pull it takes a couple seconds to get to the top. If you can't keep your legs contracting, if they don't have that all-out endurance, you're not going to make it through the entire lift, and you're going to lose the lift because of those weak legs. So with this exercise, after I worked up to my main portion, my big overall lift of about four to six reps there with 425s on either side, I immediately strip set it. I drop set, dropping 25s off of either side and performing as many reps as possible all the way back down. And this is going to be tough. Your legs are going to be hurting, but the entire time I'm focusing on a good squat just as well, sitting back into my heels, pushing my knees out to the side, and with this one I'm doing more of a low bar position, again focusing maybe a little more heavily on my, my hamstrings and glutes because it is a deadlift day. But you can't be afraid of these. These ones are going to give you insane results. You just have to push through it, get all the way down to that last final plate, whether it's a 25, whether it's a 10, or whether it's... A 45, maybe you're really strong and you can do 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with 45s. Either way, what we're doing here is really just trying to build that endurance. And that way, your quads are going to be primed and ready the next time you go in to pull a, a big deadlift PR. Now the last movement we're going to hit is going to be a special type of leg extension. And for this leg extension, I'm not focusing so much on using a lot of weight, doing a, a big lift here. I've already hit my legs hard, my back hard. I've done pause deadlifts. 
I've done a five by five for rack pulls. Or sorry, not rack pulls, hyperextension deadlifts. And then I went through an entire squat complex. So your legs are pretty toast here. All we're focusing on here is building up that last bit of strength we can in today's work. Focusing on the eccentric part of the uh, of the lift here, the eccentric portion being the um, the coming down. So the concentric is moving it up, contracting the muscle. Eccentric is not letting the muscle relax, but lowering the weight. As that muscle stretches, that's where you're going to build or have your biggest gains in strength. So I really focus on doing you know four or five sets here of 12 reps, and really focusing on the eccentric portion to build up that strength and squeeze the last bits out of my legs that I have for the day. And finally, calf raises. Um, these aren't a necessity if you're trying to build up your deadlift. Um, I just use them because this is more of a leg day for me when I work on my dynamic day for deadlift and I'm trying to get my little chicken legs uh, get a little bit bigger so this might help with those. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below if this helped you, any other tips you have for building your deadlifts and if you're new please subscribe. I'm at 86 subscribers and we're trying to get to 100 pretty soon so if you could help me out that would be great. Drop a like, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.